This is why I like working after Christmas because there's no traffic at all. Everything's complete empty. No traffic. So just look how empty it is today after Christmas. No cars. But yeah guys, this is why I love working after Christmas because everything's completely empty. No traffic, nothing. It usually it takes me about three hours just to be able to get to Frisco. And today only took me about an hour and a half, so. That just shows you how how much traffic there is. Mm. Also, Merry Christmas to everybody. Today is the 26th, I believe. 26th. Yeah, 26th. So, I just got here to this uh, restaurant. We got two reaching coolers not working. And then we got a walking freezer, a cooler that is leaking water. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to record. Trying to bring you guys along and uh, see what we find. So currently it's about 55 degrees. That's the bad thing of having the temperature in the front that they start messing with it. So right now it's at negative 30. So start checking it out. I guarantee you guys evaporates that stuff. Alright guys, have you guys ever seen these type of motors on a cooler like this? I think it's a Charleston if I if I remember correctly. Personally I have never seen them like this. And you can tell that they are super new, so I don't know if they're, pulling, they're not pulling enough air through or temp control is going now, but I'm pretty sure those have to do something with it. So right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and de-ice it. Um, shut it off, de-ice it, and go from there. So for shits and gigs, I'm gonna go ahead and just test out the uh, defrost. Condenser shut off. Motors look till they shut off. Yep, they shut off. Huh. Does this thing even have heaters? I mean, it should, but. I'll go ahead and double check. So I just found out that they're using this as a freezer. Uh, so I went and go ahead and marked it, put it into defrost, and now I'm gonna go ahead and weigh and see what it does and see if those heaters are actually working or not. But I don't know if the defrost should be longer on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call manufacturer and see what their recommendations are. If they want me to add, instead of 15, add maybe another 15. Make it a little bit longer. So I don't know. But as for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the heaters kick on and check, check it from there. One seventeen volts for the heater. All right, so my bottom heaters are working. That's why you guys are seeing that smoke right here. Um, 
So I wonder where this ones are going. I'm pretty sure those are probably going inside. And the ones that are running are the ones in the drain pan. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and de-ice it. See where everything goes to and then go from there. So defrost is running, defrost clock is fine, my heaters are working. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, see what it does. But yeah guys, I'm pretty sure this freeze this freezer should have at least a uh, 30 minute defrost throughout the day. And as you guys can tell, it only has 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, so it should be more than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more um also i'm gonna go ahead and check the time control and go from there but like i said guys i mean i'm pretty sure those uh those motors are not supposed to be there because i know i see these type of uh, equipment a lot and a lot of times they have two motors or one in the middle so we'll see what we'll see what it does So I just want to show you guys this. Temperature set to negative 30. Condenser's not even kicking on. Even by putting my hand on the bulb, nothing. Even put it at 100, you don't even hear the clicking sound. Nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the tank control first. Uh, I'll muscle currently on hold with the uh, Charleston Tech Support. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him about those motors see if that will work and then third thing is I'm gonna go ahead and add more defrost to this guys so I'm gonna go ahead and add more right yeah I'm also gonna add all of them all right so now let me just show you guys this one you can hear the little clicking noise right there this one nothing so we're good let me go ahead and turn it on so that's why I always carry those rubber guys put some in there I'm gonna go ahead and put another one right here on top those rubbers right there there you go So I'm gonna go ahead and set, set it to this temperature right now just for it to run. And then I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate and see where it needs to shut off if I have to go a little bit lower. A little so bit as you guys can tell, I added some. Uh, I put more throughout the night. Uh, and the reason being is because, I mean, it's nighttime, so they're not gonna be super busy and things like that. So that should be good. 44, 45. So before I hook up on gauges, I'm gonna go ahead and see how low it drops. Cause I know these units take about three pounds of refrigerant, I believe. Let me see. Da, 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 48 ounces. So yeah, that's about three pounds. So now it's just a waiting game. All right guys, so right now I'm currently working on tech support. I want to see if those evaporator motors will create an issue uh, with not enough airflow going through. Uh, but yeah, so right now it's just a waiting game. Right now it's at uh, 31 degrees. Condenser is 100% clean. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for the coming back to verify on those motors. And to be honest with you guys, the reason why I'm waiting is because I don't know if those type of motors will create my pressures to be lower, higher, I don't know. So right now, I'm not going out for pressures. I'm just waiting for tech support to come back and find out. Oh, 
All right, guys, so I just got done talking with tech support, and they straight up told me that they have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, the only thing we can do is, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, I added more defrost, change the uh, tank control, and just basically follow up on it. I'm also gonna go ahead and recommend the OEM bracket and the motor, and see what they wanna do, but basically it's just a thing that we're just gonna have to see what happens. But as you guys can tell, it's already at 22 degrees. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just wait till it drops the temperature and then uh, we'll be out of here. Alright guys, so with this cooler, I mean this freezer, like I said, I even called tech support. I called Charleston. I know Charleston, they're pretty good at their equipment and usually tech support is pretty good at it. But legitly, the guy told me, oh, I have no idea, bro, if those will work. So like, honestly, I have no idea. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna go ahead and uh, recommend it. Try to put the original one. But if they, do, if they don't want to, then we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, like I said, I've never seen those type of motors on those type of coolers. I seen those on the um, was it Continental? No, what was it? Uh, for it's, I think Continental. I don't remember. I don't remember that good, but no Randell. It was probably Randell, where they have those motors on the top of the rail, but uh, not not on a Charleston uh, freezer, especially for that EVAP. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend on that, and uh, see what they want to do. And that way I'm able to save my back and it's not considered a callback if it gets iced up again. But now I'm gonna go ahead and head over to a nice machine not working. I guess they just remodeled it. So I guess it's not working anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys along. See if we ever record and uh, see how it goes. So we got a Hoshi, I guess they're remodeling the store and they turned it on, but nothing happened. So right now I'm waiting for the contractor to turn on the water and then uh, we'll go from there. So that's seven beeps. Seven, seven, seven stands for high voltage to control voltage if you All right, so it's probably a voltage issue. Like I said, they just remodeled this whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the voltage and go from there. So remember how it was some voltage issue on the alarm started moving things around and found this uh, these two it goes to the board and the other two are coming from uh, transformer and uh, something else I'll have to check right now but yeah I'm pretty sure this one's going inside here but just to verify I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, look at the schematic make sure that's where it's supposed to and uh yeah see what happens all right guys for some reason i completely forgot to film that but anyways both of the two wires were fine there are two and two i looked at the schematic uh right now we have everything running iced up uh but yeah i forgot to film this little part so basically on the white one i was getting voltage instead of being neutral so they had to miss wire on that one so rewire the whole thing and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so the way they have it wired up, instead of the white being the neutral, neutral was supposed to be red. Uh, coming in from the outside, connected right there. So yeah, red one right there is neutral. And then the white one with the blue tape right here, it's line and then the other one is line. So yeah, they had it miswired. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and then see what happens. All right, guys, moment of truth. See if nothing blows up. All 
All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> I just heard the water go through. Water dripping. Nothing has exploded in yet, so we're good. Water dripping. My compressor kicked on, so we're good on that. Got the time going. Nice. Thirty minutes, we should be good. All right, guys. So, summer of that ass machine. The editing might be a little bit off because I forgot to film a little part of it, but long story short, they moved that ass machine because they were remodeling. So what happened was the way they wired it, they had power going to the neutral uh, instead of the other two legs. So the ice machine, it was doing what it was supposed to and going off an alarm. So I rewired it. Uh, make sure I labeled it to that way whoever in the future knows that the, the red one is a neutral and why it's the, uh, the line. So yeah, uh, like I said, we drop dice every 30 minutes. So we're good on that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, simple day, nothing too crazy. On my way home, it's, what is it, 2.30. By the time I get home, it'll probably be 3.45. There's no traffic. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, Till next time.